Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at some best video converters for both PC and Mac. But before we start, please, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon, in order to get notified of our future videos. Also, like and share this video. Thank you. At number 5, we have Freemake Video Converter. Freemake Video Converter is a beginner-friendly video transcoder program that runs on Windows. Some pros of using Freemake Video Converter is that it has a very easy to use with a straightforward interface. With Freemake Video Converter, you can copy DVD to MP4, turn videos from 40 plus different codecs to another format, which makes your video compatible with iPod, iPad, Nokia, Blackberry, Xbox, Sony, and other devices. The whole process can be extremely easy to convert videos with the ready-made device presets. Also, some downsides about using this software is that the presets available are for 2017 devices, and there is no preset for the current devices. Also, Freemake Video Converter doesn't support 4K Ultra HD videos, and it can only be used on Windows, as it is not compatible with Mac OS. You are also unable to remove watermark with the free version. We have also made a test on resource consumption while converting with Freemake Video Converter. And we have noticed that Freemake Video Converter only consumes about 38% of my CPU resources while converting my videos. In summary, these are the pros and cons of Freemake Video Converter. At number 4, we have VLC Media Player. Most of us know VLC as a free media player. But it is also a versatile video converter that can batch convert videos in HEVC, VCD, WMV, DVD, MPEG, and a lot of other video codecs. It also supports H.265 codec and can convert audio or DVD. Another thing about VLC Media Player is that it also has some pre-configured device presets that are available for you to choose from. Also, one advantage of VLC is that it supports batch video conversion. It is also cross-platform, which can be used on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And for the pricing, VLC Media Player is completely free. However, since VLC is mainly a media player software, it does not have much to offer as a video converter. Some of its downsides are, VLC has a limited output format support and presets. It does not support AV1 and VP9 codec. Also, it does not have output presets for specific devices or social media. And also, it is unable to convert multiple video files simultaneously to different formats. Finally, for the resource consumption test, we have noticed VLC Media Player consumes a lot of resources while converting the videos, which makes it very difficult for us to use other applications while converting videos using VLC. Now, let's take a look at the summary of the pros and cons for using VLC Media Player as a video converter. At number 3, we have Handbrake. Handbrake is one of the best free video converters available. This is a professional video converter program that can output videos from multiple video formats such as MP4, MKV, AVI, TS, M2TS, as well as digitized Blu-ray and DVDs to MKV, MP4, and WebM formats. It provides beginners with presets for quick video conversion, but still comes with lots of options for advanced users to customize the video bitrate, frame rate, resolution, and other properties. Also, Handbrake supports GPU encoding, which accelerate the whole conversion process, and can convert your videos at the speed of 2 to 3 times faster than the real-time playback. And, with the X265 encoding, it enables Handbrake to generate high-quality videos, without taking up large storage space. Another advantage of Handbrake is that, it's a cross-platform and open-source video converter, which means, you can use Handbrake on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux and still get access to all incredible features for free. 
However, some downsides about Handbrake is that, it only has three output formats available, which are, MKV, MP4, and WebM formats only. Also, Handbrake does not output 3GP, AVI, DVD, FLV, and OGG formats. It is also not beginner-friendly, as compared to other video converters. With our resource consumption test, we noticed, Handbrake is resource-hungry, it consumes about 85% of CPU resource, while converting the videos. Let's take a look at the summary, of the pros and cons, of Handbrake Video Converter. Second on our list is, Wondershare Uni Converter. As one of the best video converters, available in the market, Wondershare Uni Converter, is very easy to use, and also, it has a lot of additional options, such as some advanced video editing tools. With Wondershare Uni Converter, you can download videos from the internet, burn to disk, and transfer files to your phone directly. As such, it's ideal for both beginners, and more advanced users. This software, can handle more than 35 video formats, including MP4, MOV, MP3, and MPEG. It has more than 150 pre-configured device profiles, which is great, if you are unsure of what formats you need. It outputs videos in high quality, and at a very fast speed. Wondershare can handle 4K video conversions, with no issues. Also, it is available for both Windows, and Mac OS. Wondershare Uni Converter also comes with a screen recording feature, which allows you to record your computer screen. Also, some downsides about Wondershare Uni Converter is that it offers a free trial, but with many limitations. You can only convert one third of the full video length. Conversion speed is slower than in the paid version. You cannot burn to disk. Downloading and recording video is highly restricted in the free version. However, once you pay, you have unlimited high-speed conversions, and unrestricted use of the screen recorder, downloader, and disk burner. Now, for our resource test, we have noticed, Wondershare Uni Converter uses about 85% of our CPU resources. Let's take a look at the summary of the pros and cons of Wondershare Uni Converter. First on our list, is Videoproc. Videoproc is our number one peak, for the best video converter, for both PC and Mac. Videoproc, is also a paid software, but it has a free trial option. However, the trial version gives you all the features, of the paid software, including the recording feature. It comes with a video editor, video compressor, video downloader, and a screen recorder. The interface of Videoproc, is very easy to navigate. It supports more than 70 formats, including, AVI, MOV, MP3, and MP4. It has a lot of pre-configured profiles, that are very well categorized. You can use Videoproc, to convert MKV to MP4, MOV to MP4, or MPEG, MP4 to MP3, MP4 to AVI, or WMV, H264 to H265, and even DVD to digital, in just one click. The output video quality of Videoproc is excellent, and it converts your videos at a very fast speed with its GPU hardware acceleration feature. No need to worry about quality loss if you are using Videoproc. It enables you to retain 99% of the original picture quality while reducing 90% of the video file size. With this, you can reduce the file size of your video without losing quality. It also has a feature, which allows you to search for subtitles online, and add them to your videos. It supports 4K conversions, and even supports 8K resolution. Videoproc is available to download for both Windows and Mac OS. With our resource test, we were surprised to find, it can convert videos up to 47 times faster, than the real-time playback, while keeping the CPU usage very low. During the transcoding process, we had no problems writing emails, watching movies, and running other programs. In summary, these are the pros and cons of Videoproc. The link to download Videoproc with free license key will be in the description. Thank you.